sister. Good morning. How are you? We can see you are very busy. Okay, that's good. So I bring you the good news from God. Understand? I'm here to share with you the good news. Do you know that there's a man seated at the right hand of God? And this man have saw the problem that the earth is going through 2,000 years ago. And he decided to come to this world to give his life for all so that we can be free from our sin. So that we can be free from our shame. So that we can be free from our sorrow. You understand? That is why he came to die for us. And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Understand? That's why he said in the book of John 3, 16, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his holy begotten son, that whosoever believed in him will not perish but have everlasting life. He's a merciful God. He does not want to know the level of sin you have committed. He is ready to accept you for who you are. The only thing he needed from you is just for you to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. And he will be with you. You understand, my sister? Are you ready to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, sir. Oh, you are ready. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So can we pray? Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, as I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior, as I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior, give me the zeal. May you be my guide. The grace to follow you duly. May he be upon me. For in Jesus' name we are praying. I would have loved to see you in our program this evening. Just yet. By 6 p.m. Yes, 6 p.m. Okay. We'd love to see you. Thank you. Zero seven zero six six zero two one seven not not. Thank you. All right, sir. Wow, this man is so cute. Oh, I will get him. Pastor, see me coming. Truth is, it's time. Stop playing for this pastor. Oh, we need a word for the people. So, Lord, speak now. Hello. Oh, hello. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. How are you? Fine, sir. Please, who is this? Is happiness that guy that you preached yesterday? Oh, happiness. How are you? Fine, sir. Sir, please, I need your help. Oh. What is it? Please, I just needed someone to talk to. So, can you please come over? You need someone to talk to? Yes. 
What is it? What is the challenge? What is there any problem? No, nothing really. But I'm, I just, I'm just feeling somehow. So I just need someone to talk to. Is it that serious? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm away out before. Okay, but no problem. Let me just hurry down. All right. Okay. I'm coming up. Okay. So Lord Spirit now let it go. Oh, yeah. How are you? Welcome. Oh, we're desperate. Let's go inside. We're changed. Let's go inside. Yes. Why not just <laughs> why not just stay here? <laughs> let's go inside. You mean let's go inside? Yes. Uh, let's go inside. What? Well, okay. Truth is, it's time to stop playing these games. Oh, we need a word for the people. So, Lord, speak now. Let it pour like rain. Chai! Dress like this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, do you know that God loves you? I know. And there is nothing on earth that you can do without Christ. Just you know, this your hand is doing me so much. I'm not used to these things. And um. I What a wonderful story. You might say it's a movie, but actually it's a true life story. But the funny thing is that the brother that this thing happened to, he never knew that that month is going to die. That week is going to die. That day is going to die. What does that tell you? That tells you that the life you are living is not for you. The life you are living belongs to God. He can take it at any time. What is that secret sin that you are doing in your private place? When you look left, when you look right, nobody is looking at you and you engage in that sin. You think that nobody is seeing you. But do you know that the life you are living does not belong to you? The creator that gave you the life is washing at you. What of if he decides to take it? Where will you be? Just like that brother. Just like that brother who never knew that that very day is going to pass on. He went to engage on the secret sin. But as you listen to me now, God in his mercy will give you the grace to overcome that secret sin. I don't know what it might be. It might be masturbation. It might be fornication. It might be adultery. It might be stealing. It might be anything. But God has the power to wipe away that sin. All you just need to do is just to meditate. Meditate on him. Pray with him. Dedicate your spirit, soul and body to him. Ask him for forgiveness and he will forgive you. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for watching. In Jesus' name, Amen.